Have you ever wondered about the history of your favorite pizza chain, Pizza Hut? Did you know that this billion dollar business began with just $600 borrowed from their mother? In this video, we'll explore the shocking truth about the history of Pizza Hut and how two brothers overcame all odds to create a household name. From their humble beginnings to their expansion into a global brand, we'll uncover the secrets behind the success of Pizza Hut. So, if you're a pizza lover or just love a good success story, then this video is for you. Stay tuned until the end to learn everything you need to know about the history of Pizza Hut. Fresh, chewy, and delectable pies from Pizza Hut have a long history that is frequently overlooked. Pizza Hut has been providing a variety of freshly baked cheesy pizzas for more than 60 years, and this has helped establish its reputation as a household name. Despite having little experience with pizza and only $600 borrowed from their mother, two brothers named Dan and Frank Carney made the right choice on May 31st, 1958, which is what led to this success story. Dan and Frank overcame all odds by taking a risk and expanding their modest beginnings into an empire that was ultimately sold to PepsiCo for $300 million. Two brothers born in 1931 and 1938 were destined to lay the foundation for a billion dollar pizza chain. Dan and Frank, two of seven children, spent their early years attending nearby schools and assisting at their small grocery store. Even though the Carney family had never been wealthy, things took a turn for the worse when their town's grocery store owner, father, passed away. In addition to having a profound emotional effect on the family, his passing caused a sizable financial setback. The two brothers had no choice but to work to support the family. Frank was only 10 years old when his father passed away, too young to understand the depth of the loss. But before passing away, his father promised that both of his sons would finish college in order to secure their future. If you want to do something, do it for yourself, Frank's father reportedly told him. The brothers heeded this advice and, despite all odds, pursued their education in order to start a new empire. Dan and Frank became passionate about the food industry as a result of their early experiences working at their family's supermarket, Carney Market. Dan went to Wichita University to get a business degree to hone his skills, and Frank did the same. Dan wrote a master's thesis on franchising despite his professor's objections because he thought it was the direction the food industry would take. Dan persevered in learning about franchising and researched popular fast food chains like McDonald's and KFC despite the fact that his thesis was rejected. Although there was no courses available at the time on franchising, Dan's research provided him with the background he needed to eventually create his own business and franchise agreement. The brothers risked starting their own fast food company despite having limited resources by working hard to learn the business. The Carney siblings happened to run into a local real estate agent while looking for success, and he persuaded them to, that opening a pizza restaurant would be the best chance at making money. Frank and Dan were convinced that starting a small pizzeria was the answer to their financial problems, so they borrowed $600 from their mother. Due to their limited resources, they had to buy used equipment and concentrate on luring students as customers in order to pay their rent. The brothers learned how to make pizza from their friend John Bender rather than hiring a professional chef. Dan and Frank didn't have any formal methods when they created their first recipe. Instead, they just tried out various combinations of ingredients until they found one that tasted and felt good. We found someone to teach us how to make it two weeks before our opening, Carney later told Nation's Restaurant News. The Carney brothers put all of their efforts into the opening night of their pizzeria on June 15, 1958, despite having a, only a tiny 500 square foot space that could only hold 25 people. They used free pizza as their initial marketing tactic to draw clients, which was effective in bringing new customers to their restaurant. 
Beverly, Dan's wife, came up with the name Pizza Hut because she thought it would go well with the restaurant's distinctive hut-shaped structure, which is now a trademark of every Pizza Hut franchise. Donna and Frank invested all of their resources and efforts into Pizza Hut in the early years because they were determined to make their company successful. Frank, who left school in 1969 to concentrate on his business, kept his word to his father and finished his bachelor degree online while managing his lucrative business. He received lectures and assignments on videotape. Frank speculated that either luck or divine intervention contributed to Pizza Hut's sudden success. Despite having no experience making pizza, he and Dan succeeded in making it a local success. However, they encountered some difficulties that prompted others to franchise the company. The Carnies established a recognizable Pizza Hut brand in 1964 with red-roofed huts, which encouraged the opening of over 145 locations by 1966. Frank wanted to create long-term plans for the business, looking to the future. Due to Pizza Hut's IPO, it experienced significant growth. PepsiCo purchased the business in 1977 for more than $300 million USD. Dan faded from public view after leaving Pizza Hut to pursue a career in venture capital, but Frank continued to serve as president and a board member. Frank, however, made the decision to leave the business in 1980 and pursue other opportunities. Frank stated that he had no desire to return to the pizza business in a 1998 interview with the Nation's Restaurant News because he saw no compelling reason to do so. He disagreed with PepsiCo's transformation of the company into a marketing-focused empire rather than a modest, locally-based business, which was a major factor in his decision. Frank ventured into real estate, oil, and gas exploration, and various other industries unrelated to pizza despite finding it difficult to leave his own business. While serving as chairman of West Sizzlin Steak House for a few years, he did briefly return to the food industry business. He was appointed vice chairman of Turbo Chef Inc. in 1994 to manage the development, design, and production of high-speed cooking systems for the fast food industry. Frank still had a genuine interest in the field of franchising for fast food, though he returned to his roots of creating and growing a business after leaving Pizza Hut. Frank surprised everyone by joining the Papa John's Pizza franchise in 1994, despite declining numerous offers from pizza companies. Frank decided to give the pizza business another shot after Martin Hart asked him to taste test Papa John's. Frank was impressed by the product. He saw potential in the business and desired to once more feel the excitement of starting a company from scratch. In a statement to Nation's Restaurant News, Frank said that he was having more fun than ever with his new endeavor. The difference, he said, was that he was now more knowledgeable and at ease, much like the distinction between being a parent and a grandparent. He compared it to a replay of his earlier experiences. Frank's Papa John's was his attempt to right the wrongs that had been done during his time at Pizza Hut, including the loss of the chain's original identity following the PepsiCo merger. After he joined, Frank's ownership stake in Papa John's rapidly increased. He also assumed control of the brand's marketing by pitting it against Pizza Hut, which caused some controversy. Despite this, Frank didn't waver in his confidence in his new business despite the displeasure of his former Pizza Hut co-workers at his betrayal of their loyalty. To compete with Frank and Papa John's, they created fresh marketing plans, but in 1995, Frank hit the mark with the slogan, Better Ingredients, Better Pizza, showcasing his unwavering dedication to, to the prosperity of his company. Carney noted that PepsiCo's relentless pursuit of growth resulted in a decline of product quality and that Pizza Hut had transformed into a business focused on producing goods on an assembly line. Nevertheless, Carney thinks that his former employer is actively reversing its errors. In 1998, when asked about his time at Papa John's, he said that he could wish he could go back in time to the best years of his life when he helped Pizza Hut expand and that he felt fortunate to have experienced riding two horses of this caliber in his lifetime. 
The Pizza Hut story is a tale of transformation, according to John Bardo, president of Wichita State University. It involves having the guts to invest in oneself, lending a hand to friends, and displaying compassion, in the same way Wichita State and Pizza Hut stand for the same thing. The story of the Carney brothers' rise from poverty to affluence is a real rags-to-riches tale. Starting from scratch and maintaining an empire is a challenging feat, from the humble beginnings of Pizza Hut to create a legacy in the franchising sector with Papa John's. Frank Carney's journey has not been easy. And there you have it, the shocking truth about the history of Pizza Hut. From humble beginnings with just $600 borrowed from their mother, two brothers, Dan and Frank Carney, took a risk and created an empire that has become a household name. Their passion and dedication to the food industry, along with their determination to learn and grow, led them to develop a successful franchise model that has endured more than 60 years. Pizza Hut's signature red-roofed huts and deliciously cheesy pizzas have become iconic, but behind it all is a story of hard work, perseverance, and a little bit of luck. So the next time you take a bite of a Pizza Hut pizza, remember the Carney brothers and their incredible journey to success. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.